Hi boys and girls, it's your principal, Mr. Ocampo, back again with our other study of Ezra Jack Keats. Today, the cat, the star of High Cat, has vanished. All the kids are on the way to the neighborhood pet show. And Archie is all alone and petless. Let's see what happens. The name of the story is called Pet Show by Ezra Jack Keats. Everyone was talking about the pet show. The kids told each other about the pets they would bring. Matt said he would bring ants. I'm gonna bring my mouse, bragged Roberto. What are you gonna bring, Archie? The cat? Uh huh, said Archie. The next day they got ready for the pet show. Where's the cat? Archie called. Anyone seen the cat? Archie and Willie looked in the cat's favorite hangouts while Peter and Susie searched up and down the street. No cat. Archie's mother came to the window. Where could the cat be? He asked her. You know how independent he is, Archie. You never know when to expect him. But I expect him now. It's time for the pet show. Maybe he's inside somewhere. Archie ran into the building. After a while, he came to the window. I can't find him. I looked all over the place. You better start without me. Gee, we're sorry, Archie, said Peter. So long, said Susie. They got to the entrance. A lot of people were already there. Just then, Roberto's mouse took off. <coughs> Willie chased the mouse. Roberto chased Willie. Peter chased Roberto. Susie chased Peter. And the show started. Line up with your pets, please, the judges called. They walked up and down, looking carefully at every pet and asking, How old is your pet? And what's your pet's name? Everyone got a prize for something. There was the noisiest parrot, the handsomest frog, the friendliest fishes, the yellowest canary, the busiest ants, the brightest goldfish, the, longer, the longest dog, the fastest mouse, the softest puppy, the slowest turtle, and many more. As the last prize was being awarded, someone shouted, Look! Here comes Archie! Hello! You're just in time, a judge said. What's in the bag? My pet! May I see it, please? At that moment, the cat showed up. The other judge called out, a blue ribbon to the nice lady for, th for the cat with the longest whiskers. Before anyone can say anything, he pinned the blue ribbon on the old woman and came back to Archie. What kind of pet do you have in the drawer? A germ, answered Archie. Hmm, and what's your germ's name? Archie thought for a moment. Al, he said. The judges whispered to each other. A blue ribbon for Al, the quietest pet in the show, the judges announced. As everyone was leaving, the old lady came over to Archie. He's really your cat, isn't he? She said. You should have the blue ribbon. It's okay, said Archie. You keep it. And he ran to join his friends. They passed the old woman on their way home. Thank you for the ribbon, she called. Archie smiled. It looks good on you. See you around. See you around, she said. And that's the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed the story, boys and girls. See you next time.